Good news, delivered to you by the best speaker of all time, Victorian Premier Dennis Napthine, who was obviously the victim of thousands of swirlies at high school. Ha 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 Anyway, the Victorian Liberal Party has selected me to tout all of its accomplishments, despite the fact I have less charisma than most vacuum cleaner salesmen. No, 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 I'm no an inspirational leader when I see one. He got that X Factor, baby. Cheers, Gandhi. Real recognises real. I, for what it's worth, think you did a good job too, mate. <gasps> oh my god, Dennis Napthine knows who I am. <laughs> We've been getting Victoria back on track. We've made it almost impossible to set up a new wind farm, which is costing the state three billion dollars in investments. But that doesn't affect me. I don't have long hair. I can't use the wind turbines to reenact that video clip by Creed of One Last Breath. Dude, what is it with this guy's visceral hatred of Christian rock tribute bands, man? Oh, because why do you guys deserve your own genre? Compete with the other rock bands. Then, because we all know that the mining industry is strapped for cash, we instead used your taxpayer dollars to try and convince you in a slicker advertising campaign that brown coal is good for the environment. Brown coal has millions of environmentally sound uses, such as a cheap alternative for hacky sacks. They're both sort of round, who cares what you use, no one's good at it anyway. Or, dress up a mound of it in basketball attire and get ready to shoot hoops with your newest friend, Colby Bryant. Impatible it nothing fool. Then, like all coalition governments, I bald faced lied about the impact of the carbon tax on the state and then using the very reputable source of my own lie, which I cannot tell a lie, was very aware at the time it was a lie, but still used it to justify scrapping every state level climate change action program we had in the state. Because we're not a government that's driven by the poll. We're a government that keeps its promises. Ooh, that's a nice early Christmas present, Victoria, for not you. Who said that getting a lump of coal in your stocking's a bad thing, guys? Your parents? Fuck your parents. Vote Liberal. The Victorian Liberal Party. Sorry for swearing at you, we're just under a lot of stress at the moment. Authorised by a party that regrets putting that up now. Probably should have thought of some more positive selling points for ourselves on reflection. Please press the subscribe button now. Come on.